Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. So today I'm doing a little video inspired by Makeup by Jack. YouTube made me buy it. Now I think pretty much 90% of my makeup collection is a YouTube made me buy it. So I saw the idea on his channel, he did the Nikki tutorials made me buy it and I don't think I had enough for one person to do a whole video i've just done a general youtube made me buy it so i've got quite an array of products in front of me so let's get going okay so first off today i'm actually going to prep my skin now and i'm going to use the keels daily revive and concentrate of course jamie genevieve made me buy this so i'm just going to do a few drops but i like to put this on and just leave it to sit for a little while so i'm just sort of focusing it on my more drier areas so like the outside of my face okay so as always i'm going to start with my brows and i'm going to probably use the most hyped eyebrow product in the history of eyebrow product and that is the anastasia Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade. Now there's not like a specific YouTuber that made me buy it. This is just a YouTube in general made me buy it because I think everyone at one time or another has used Dip Brow. Mm -hmm. To set my brows in place, I'm gonna take the Maybelline Brow Precise Fiber Filler. Now this one is down to Nicole Concilio. I saw it mentioned in one of her videos and I was like, oh. Let's give that one a go. I do like it, but I find sometimes I, as you're combing through your brows, the product sort of flicks up and just sits on your skin. I don't know if that's just me not doing it right. It's, it probably is just me, but, but it does really pick up on your hairs and just make them look thicker. So I just sort of concentrate it towards the front of the brow just to create that more hairy look. Now I don't actually have a specific eye primer that a YouTuber made me buy. I suppose I could have gone with soft ochre, but my soft ochre ran out a million years ago. I'm taking my Tarte Shape Tape in the shade Fair. Don't think I've come across a YouTuber yet who's not used Tarte Shape Tape. I don't think I've come across a human being who does not like Tarte Shape Tape. I'm probably not alone in this one where I think nearly every eyeshadow palette I own, YouTube made me buy it. To save me going through them all, I've picked out a couple here. So I actually have in front of me, I've got the Juvia's Place palette. Nikki Tutorials made me buy these. Yeah, so as soon as these got released on Beauty Bay, I had, had to snatch them up. But as well as that one, of course, I couldn't do a YouTuber's made me buy it without mentioning the beautiful and the amazing Morphe Jacqueline Hill. I've got a whole other host of YouTube made me buy it palettes, but I thought I'd just stick with these. I'll dip in and out of all of them at some point during this look. I know I've mentioned before, but I didn't actually get the name cards in the Jacqueline Hill palette, so I can't look. Usually when I do my voiceover, tutorials i'll look the names up but i don't have that right now but i will list the colors below of what ones i'm actually using so the first one i'm going to take is this center sort of warm brown shade yeah, i'm going to take this shade here i think this is butter i'm just going to use that as my transition shade to sort of blend out what i've just done I actually want this to look a little bit more orangey, so I'm just going to go in with Jamila from the Juvia's um, Place Saharan palette. I feel like a little autumn leaf. I'm just going to take a touch of a mixture of these two shades here just to deepen up the crease on the outer third. Okay, so now I'm going to cut the crease. So I'm just taking a touch of my Tarte Shape Tape. I'm just going to cut the crease. Then I'm just going to blend the edge of the concealer going in with a bit of Jamila, which is that orange shade. I'm going to take this gorgeous sort of blue 
greeny shade Kia from the Saharan palette and just on a little concealer brush that I'm going to spray with some Fix Plus. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and do the underneath of my eyes and pop some lashes on and I'll be back in a minute. Okay, so under eye done, lashes on and I've just used, kept it quite dark on the under eye, just using the brown shades and popped on some inner corner highlights. I think I used the shade, I used Iman, just that white shade. And now it's time for the face. For face primer today, I think we all know where this is going. I'm going to take the famous Nivea for Men post shave balm. Now this is of course Nikki Tutorials made me buy it again. This was such a craze when I first started watching YouTube and I bought it because Nikki said, you know, it has glycerin in that makes you makes your face tacky and makes your makeup stick and I was having the hardest time keeping my makeup on all day. So I ran out and bought some and it's still pretty full. So just while I wait for that to dry down and go tacky, I'll talk about foundation. So, it's a bit of a touchy subject today. I do have three foundations sitting in front of me for this video. Now, I filmed this video a couple of days ago and I just didn't like how it looked. So, but in that video, I used my Makeup Forever HD foundation stick. And this is a Jack, Makeup by Jack. Jack Ivory made me buy this. It's a lovely foundation, the coverage is phenomenal, which I never expected because I hate the liquid foundation of this. But it is good, it's just way too pale for me. And also, I was wearing this for work yesterday. And I actually popped it up on my Insta stories, I might put a little clip here somewhere. But I was just scratching my nose and then took my hand away and I just had a big clump of foundation in my nail. And it just had a big line in my face and it just... This foundation just does not stick well on my face at all. So I'm not using it today. The second foundation I've got here, which I'm not gonna be using as either, probably has to be the biggest disappointment of 2017 when it comes to makeup. This product was so hyped all over YouTube. I can't name a specific one who said it because I sort of searched for it. I searched high and low for reviews on this foundation and everyone said it was amazing. So of course I went out to buy it and then uh, I think in some of my past videos I've used this foundation and been like this is amazing blah 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 but then I don't know what happened but a couple weeks ago I was wearing the foundation all around my mouth where I've been talking all day and moving my mouth it just all cracked not just just completely cracked I just looked a mess so I just can't bear this foundation anymore and the one I'm talking about is the Ordinary High Coverage Foundation. Just look at the bottle, if it focuses. It's all completely separated in the bottle. I know obviously that's just it sitting there for a long time, but I just do not like this foundation at all. And I'm so sorry to anyone when I first got this and I was like, yeah, I got this, it's amazing, it's really cheap. It's terrible. So finally, the foundation I am going to be using today, this goes back to when I very, very first started watching YouTube years ago. And one of the very first people I started following was Loz Curtis. This, if you if you know Loz Curtis, and I'm talking about foundation, I think you must know what one I'm on about. But if you don't, here it is, the L'Oreal True Match Foundation. She used to rave about this constantly on her channel, like the old version, not this, the new, what the new one. I had to go out and buy it because she was just click. It was all these claims, you know, high coverage. It was matte. It stayed all day. So I was like. I'm going to get me that and I did so I'm taking the shade golden ivory and this is 1d slash 1w then for concealer of course I'm taking my Tarte Shape Tape in the shade fair I'm actually going to do some cream contouring today and again I'm taking it back old school and I'm going to take my Anastasia Beverly Hills cream contour kits I'm just going to go in with the middle shade here now this contour kit again was so hyped on YouTube when I first started watching it I was pretty late to the 
makeup game. I wasn't really into makeup until about two years ago. So I don't actually have a powder that YouTube made me buy, so I'm just going to quick grab it with my Cryolan. So for bronzer, I'm going to take another old school fave, and I'm going to take my Benefit Hula Bronzer. Now this is a definite Nikki Tutorials made me buy it, just because she was, I, I was so pale and didn't really, couldn't really find a bronzer that matched my skin tone that weighing too orange on me. I've not actually used it for a, for a long time on a video except the last two videos. And for highlighter I'm going to take my Kiko Milano Water Eyeshadow in 208. Now this is a Holly Boone made me buy it. I don't know if you saw recently on her Snapchats. I think it was Snapchat. She was talking about these these eyeshadows um, as, as highlighters and they are just to die for as a highlight. So as always I'm taking my Morphe M510 and I'm just spritzing it with some Fix Plus. So finally it's time for lips. Now this one's easy, I'm taking my Huda Beauty Liquid Matte and this is in the shade Bombshell. Now of course Huda Beauty made me buy it, she was one of the first sort of makeup lines by someone I was obsessed with. Like I ran out and got these on the lip contours, I got some eye, eye lashes and I've also got here two eyeshadow palettes which are the bomb. Check out my video, wherever it'll be. To finish everything off, I'm going to take my Mario Badescu Rose Water Spray. This is a Holly Boone made me buy it again. She mentions this, she raves about this on her channel all the time and I just had to go and get it because everyone's saying it's, it can be used as a primer, a setting spray, a moisturising spray. I actually spray this on my face every night before bed. Okay, so this is the finished look. This is my YouTubers made me buy it look. I am obsessed with every single person I mentioned. We've got Nikki Tutorials, Lars Curtis, Jamie Genevieve, Holly Boone, Makeup by Jack, Nicole Concilio. These people are just, oh and Huda Beauty. These people are just like, I look up to these people so much. So whatever they recommend, I'm sure enough to go and buy if it's going to suit me. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Is there any, leave me a little comment below. Is there any products, any specific YouTubers made you go out and buy? Yeah, but that's all for today. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to leave a comment and let me know what you've bought for, from someone else's recommendation. Don't forget while you're down there to subscribe and hit the little bell notification, I think it's that side, possibly, maybe, I don't know. Make sure you hit the little bell notification so you never miss one of my uploads. But thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you again soon, bye!